So I've got plenty to do today. I'll be amazed if I get it all done, but come with me on this journey and see how much I can get done today on Monday, I believe it's the 7th of January 2019. So I'm done the packaging and the labelling now, which is a good start to the day. I wanted to show you this, which is my old, um, well, it's actually my current um, Royal Mail size guide. Um, but I don't, I've not bought another one, even though this here is completely broke. What I just do is I just like hold it like that when I'm putting the large letters through, which to be honest is a bit risky because if that like comes away a little bit, then I might think something's a large letter when it actually isn't. Um, but I just, for whatever reason, I don't buy another one. So um, I've had this one for like three years now. They literally cost like three pound off eBay, but I just don't buy another one. I just use this one. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm getting some weird sort of sentimental attachment to it, but yeah. So I just wanted to show you that because I thought it was pretty funny. Have you noticed it's terribly dark again this morning, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I've just got some packing to do and then I am off to auction viewing. Uh, I've got charity shops to do, I've got, um, when I get back, I've got photography to do, I've got listing to do, I've got, oh, I've got to label the parcels once I've packaged them, and then obviously take them when uh, we go to auction viewing. Um, so yeah, plenty to do today. I'm sure there's some other stuff I've got to do. I've got to answer messages and stuff, I know that. But I'm sure there's some other stuff I've got to do as well. So plenty to do today. Um, so yeah, I'd better get on and do this packaging. So I am in Nutsford now and I'm just going to auction viewing. Once I've done that, we'll hit up some of the charity shops um, and yeah, we'll see what the rest of the day brings. So I've just done about half the charity shop so far in Nutsford, I've got one item which is pretty cool, you might have seen it. Uh, generally, if I even just get like one or two items from Nutsford, I'm happy because the charity shops are really expensive here, like really, really expensive. If you live around the local area in Cheshire, that sort of area, you'll probably have been to Nutsford and you'll probably know that the charity shops are quite expensive. But yeah, I'm just going to go around the others now, see what I can get. Auction viewing was really, really good. Um, plenty on offer at this auction. Normally the auction after New Year is always good anyway. Um, but yeah, plenty on offer. So uh, pretty happy with that. Hopefully I'll get some good stuff tomorrow uh, when I actually do um, the bidding on, on the auction. So yeah, pretty happy today, going well. Um, you know, and hopefully we can continue this flow. guys so i am back now as you can see it's like one o'clock is it yeah just turn one o'clock um yeah so i did get something from nutsford which was pretty cool i'll show you that in a sec 
Um, I've done my messages, so normally what I do is I do my messages in the morning, um, but this morning I didn't because I was too busy doing packaging. So I did my messages just then after having lunch. Um, I've got some photography to do, I've got listening to do, but before I do that, I've got to get on and basically write a new list of my auction lots um, just so I can transfer them onto a, like a clean piece of paper so then there's not like notes everywhere on the page and it just organises it a lot better for me ready for the auction tomorrow so then I've got a nice clean piece of paper uh, to go into the auction knowing exactly my maximum bids on all the items and it's not just clustered up with random pieces of writing everywhere on it so I need to do that as well um, but yeah, I'll show you this one here. I've got this battle of the sexes. The battle continues. The battle continues. Brand new and sealed, as, as you can see there. Now, I was thinking, and I was happy to pay £2.75, I think it was, on there. I was thinking that that was the price. But I went up to the counter, because there's no sale label on this anywhere. I went up to the counter, and um, the guy basically said, it's £1.50. Uh, we're having like a, I, I assume it was a New Year sale. He didn't say it was a New Year sale, but I'm assuming it, it was a New Year sale. So I actually paid uh, £1.50 for this, so that was pretty cool. But um, I did check on eBay, and it's not really worth that much. I didn't think it would be worth loads of money, but I thought it might be worth a little bit more than it is. It's worth about 12 quid plus post. Um, brand new and sealed for like 15 quid all in um obviously i could push it up a little bit i could maybe try for 15 or maybe 20 um but you know if i want a quick sale on it then i'd have to go for sort of 12 pound plus postage what i might do is just put it on high ready for christmas and just leave it and just sit uh, let it sit there till christmas but i'm not sure it might just go in my uh, ROA pile in my lockup, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that was pretty cool. Um, but it was the only item I got, as I mentioned in one of your snippets. Uh, Nutsford is a notoriously high-priced um, town for charity shops. Really isn't uh, brilliant for charity shops. But you know, if you get the, you can get the odd item there. And since I'm going there to to view the auction anyway, I may as well have a look around the charity shop. So I was at least glad I picked up one item. But yeah. So that's that one. So quick update, it is about 20 to 3, something like that. Uh, I've just got a few more jobs done in the past, what, probably an hour and a half, something like that. Um, I got another parcel packed because, you know, someone bought something and I thought I may as well pack it up. I had to sort out where my boxes are stored because they were just getting crazy, you know how it is like... When you've got a lot of boxes stored, um, you know, for obviously packing parcels, sometimes they just mount up and mount up and it just gets uncontrollable. So I had to like flat pack a few and all the rest of it and just generally just tidy them up and put them in some sort of order so then it just doesn't turn into chaos, basically. Um, I'm just currently editing a video. Um, what else have I done? I did a little bit of photography, only photo with a couple of items, nothing major really. Um, and now, obviously, I need to get on with some listing after I've uh, edited this video. I'll just flip you around actually and show you uh, the editing process. So I'm just editing this video here. I'm actually using uh, Premiere Pro now. Uh, I switched over about six months ago, but it's taken me that long just to kind of figure it out and uh, get over some glitches and oh, bugs and all the rest of it. It's, yeah, Premiere Pro isn't, like, the best editing software to use in terms of when you're, like, a new editor. Um, like, Wondershare was brilliant for me for probably the three or four years I used it for. Um, but, yeah, Premiere is where I'm at now. And after getting over all the glitches and stuff, and af after watching uh, tons of different tutorials, I'm really now starting to enjoy uh, the editing process with, with this uh, software. But, yeah... Definitely a good editing software and definitely an upgrade on uh, Wondershare, especially when you're starting to get into that sort of intermediate level of editing rather than just the, the beginner. So yeah, really would recommend Premiere if anyone uh, is looking into any editing softwares. So I've just spent a little bit longer than I thought on editing. Um, I think it's about half three now or something, or 20 past three. So I've probably been editing for almost an hour now, but I wanted to get that video correct, so I needed to do that. Um, so yeah, now I need to quickly go up to the co-op because I want to get something for my tea, um, and then I need to get on with some listing because... It'll be like quarter past four and the day is really uh, dragging on now. It's actually pretty good going to the court because it actually gets my walk in for the day. I've not actually been on a walk today so uh, it's quite nice even though it is 
Uh, it was probably not the best day, but um, still, it's nice to get some steps in. So it's a little bit later on now. It's uh, half six, as you can see up there. I procrastinated quite a lot before tea after I got back from the co-op uh, from about sort of quarter past four to five o'clock or just after five o'clock I was just kind of uh, procrastinating not really doing any work just watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that um, but then after I've had tea just in the last sort of half an hour or so um, I've been doing a few listings I think I'm up to about five um, so far hopefully going over in the next hour or so um, I'll be able to get 10 or 12 done something like that so hopefully it won't be too much of a bad day but obviously when you're procrastinating at certain points in the day you have got to try and make that time up the best you can so it just means that obviously I'm working a little bit later tonight but that's not so bad because I'll be pretty much finished by like quarter past seven something like that so yeah pretty happy with how i've worked today got quite a lot done it's been quite a hectic day but i managed to fit in pretty much what i wanted to fit in i don't think there's anything major that i've missed off all the things that were top priority i've done i've managed to squeeze in some listings done the auction uh, viewing obviously and sorted all that out uh, did some photography i did my packaging did my labeling and there's a few other little bits and bobs that i got done you know little things like answering messages and offers stuff like that and a few other little tiny bits and bobs really but yeah pretty happy with how i've worked today and uh, i suppose i'll see you in the next vlog so i'll see you very soon guys <laughs>